Tingle, Tingle, and Kaloo Limpa! Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, as you can see right here, this little fence that was Ow, Ow, dude, seriously? You know what? Get out of here. Thank you. That's Owl! Thank you! Thank you! Good night! Oh, uh, punk! <laughs> oh, this must be the fish. Help me! Please take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock! Uh, oh, excuse me. Howdy, guys! This is Silent Senior 09, and we're back with more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And I just took a moment to kind of examine this guy's room a little more. I just realized he looks it looks like he's got a spear, some kind of harpoon, and a very, very sharp-looking knife. Like a larger version of the knife he had right over there on that table. And I gotta say, I'm almost convinced this guy did something. I don't know what he used to do, or if he's just that dedicated of a marine research biologist, whatever you want to call him. This guy's packing, that's all I got to say. He's like Medea, he's packing. Anyway. Uh, so last time we left off, I believe we... Ouch, I just hit my thumb on the control stick. Uh, we left off just talking to some people, you know, getting some information. That's mostly what I try to do when I first enter a new area. And the only reason I'm like, okay, you gotta do this, then you gotta do this, you know, jump into the... Jump the gun, rather, to the next areas. I try to invoke some problem-solving skills, I guess you could say. Like, I try to show how useful, or, I don't know, useful how you can kind of derive what the characters in the game say to, okay, what do I need to do? What can I do? Does this hint to something? No. Dude, seriously, come on. And so, that's mostly, in case anybody who's watching this is new and is wondering, like, why does he take time to read the dialogue, you know, stuff like that, or read the signs, like this one right here. Now rehearsing at Zora Hall, the Zora Band with that deep sea sound, the Indigo... Whoa, wait a minute. What do we remember hearing about the Indigo-Go's, guys? Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, miniature of the band, the Indigo-Go's. Yeah, that's right. Right back in uh, that uh, um, the what, mayor's wife's office, we were talking to Toto about it, actually. Interesting. See, like I said, reading the dialogue and the signs and whatnot sometimes does help, actually. So, uh, I guess I can show this off over here. Die. <laughs> I swear I should make like a counter how many of those stupid things I wind up killing while I'm in Great Bay. It's tempting. Alright, as Maiku, of course, you might want to talk to the Zoras. Hey, aren't you Maiku? Were you able to get an empty bottle from the beavers at top of the waterfall? Wait, what? What you talking about, fool? What you talking about a bottle up there? Those guys are quick, so it's pretty tough, isn't it? Hmm. I'll have to check into that a little bit later, I suppose. Hey, Maiku! You want to do that thing you used to do used to always? What? What are you talking about? What I used to do? Zora game site. Those who recklessly break pots will be fined. Oh, okay. I think what he's talking about is you can actually uh, incorporate making lots of money and whatnot. And if you break all these pots, you'll wind up getting like a boatload of rubies. I think it's like 10 rubies for a pot or something. I can't remember. Oh crap, I didn't do it. I'm too far. I'm too close. What's wrong? Have you lost your touch from playing too much guitar, Maiku? Didn't you used to be able to break all these faults at once? Ugh, you motioned all stiff like someone who's not used to doing this. Yeah, you might say that, just saying. Sorry, but I have to take 10 rupees for those broken jaws. If you break them all at once, I'll give you something good. Take the challenge again sometime. Alright, I'm determined to get this. Dang it. I know I've done this before, it's just... ugh. It's those... oh man. You have to calculate into the fact that... Um, every time you slice forward... Yeah, I know, I failed. Stop letting me know. Anyway, uh, one of the things you can keep note is he won't... He can keep charging your rupees, but once you run out of rubies, you're out of rubies. There's just no two ways about it, so this is actually a nice way to make some money. So hopefully I'll cut to or get... Every, okay, there we go, that's how it's done. Way to go, Maiku! You've got a big smirk on your face! How did you know? Can you see me? Oh, well, here's the hundred rupees. Oh, except for jar replacement costs, that's ten rupees. So I have to deduct that. You get ninety rubies. Take the challenge again sometime. So there you go. This is a nice way to make another one. Nice way you can make some money and not feel any repercussions from it. So, anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, ex check out some more of this place. I mean, we can go that way 
toward that direction where the water's kind of going, it looks like, or at least maybe there's a waterfall that they're talking about, I don't know. But let's go ahead and, hey, 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 die. Okay, yeah. What I just did is I pressed the R button using the shield, and you can use that. It uses your magic up, but it automatically will, like, kill those fish, these fish bones. It'll also keep you from taking damage from these little like light guys. And why not? Okay, no, you need to die. Goodbye, thank you. And uh, I'll get into more physics of that later. Let's go ahead and check out this sign. Zora Hall ahead, now rehearsing. The Zora Bend with that deep sea. Oh, okay. We'll go. That means we're heading in the right direction. That's cool. Ooh, there's another fish that came out of there. Holy crap. Wow. Zora Hall. Very nice, very nice. It's almost as good as... Well, actually, it is much better. It's a lot, it has a lot more color than the uh, Zora's Domain, actually, in Ocarina of Time. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, you're Mikey, right? Good luck practicing for the concert. I'm looking forward to your rehearsal. Oh, I'm guessing that's like our stage. That's really nice. Fancy, too. Hmm. Let's see if we can't find out some information. Hey, dude, how you doing? Alrighty. Hi, you. Or, hey, you. I almost said hi, you. Who says hi, you? They say hey, you now. Oh, that's right. Evan, your band leader, is looking for you. Evan, huh? Who's Evan? I guess he's like a, he's like the manager of the band or something. No, that's Toto. Toto's the manager, so what is he? He's like the band, I don't know, mascot. Who knows? Hi, Mikey. Where you been, man? We have been... See, where have you been? Where have you been? Oswald. Oh, your concert's town is coming up. But it seems like all the band members are in a funk. Yeah. I bet you didn't know that, huh? Mmm. Michael probably did, but I didn't. Oh, especially Lulu, man. I haven't heard her voice in a long time. She's usually in good spirits, too, man. Oh, oh. I wonder if this is related to the ocean turn all weird. Actually, man, I know a little bit of Lulu's secret. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Let's go ahead and get some background, shall we? There's a rumor that the ocean is getting weird because there's trouble offshore at Great Bay Temple. And they say when that happens, something bad will befall the Do Zora descendant who's been protecting the temple, man. Do you catch my drift, man? And lately, Lulu has been looking kind of weird. Maybe Lulu's the... What do you mean? You can't tell me she's the descendant. Huh. The vocalist for the Zora Band is the descendant. Well, anyway, while we're in here, I'll also point out there's something up there which we'll get to shortly, probably. Um, but probably not... Probably, excuse me. Let me work on my pronunciation again. Probably not in this episode. There we go. Okay, so I think this is... I'm guessing this is another band member's room. Mikey, do you need to see Joppa's? You're gonna have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait! Uh, you and everybody else, but it sounds like there's some trouble, or it looks like we need to clear the air with some foulness that's going on. Maybe some untold secrets. Whoa. Check out his room, man. Ha! Huh. That's cute. It's one of those fish that has, like, a uh, antenna on it that has, like, a light on it that teases the fish. Let's see if there's anything else that's kind of noteworthy. Uh, just looks like a regular... Yeah, this is my man cave room. Don't come in here unless you want to, like, smell the stench of man. I don't know. Mikey! Where have you been, buddy? I'm all like, Hey! Where's Mikey? And then it's like, The concerts are coming, upcoming, you know? And now our band leader has pulled a vanishing out, like, Evan's all holed up in his, this room just writing the songs. And to top it off, Lulu just stands out back staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her, man. If you guys think it's just cause Lulu's not interested in me, I don't understand, but I'm telling you, it looks like something's really wrong. Is this something you're not you're trying to hide from me, man? I'm not running an inquiry or anything. But it, it, look, if we don't start rehearsing soon, we're not gonna be ready for the concert. Totally, man. Cha Guess we'll have to see about what the problem is. So more pro so basically he's convinced that there's more problems and he looks like he's the one that knows the least out of all of us. Besides me, of course, because we just now started as Mikey, so we're just getting information as we go. Evan the band leader has been waiting for you for a while now. Hurry, go in, go in. Alright, fine, I'll hurry. Jeez, man. Seriously. Oh wow. 
What is that? Is that like a shirt? That is a really messed... That's a holy looking shirt, dude. You might, you might not want to wear that for the concert if that's what you're wearing. Seriously. Whoa. Check it out. It's like a boned, picked piano key thing. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So you must be Evan. Oh, my coo. How was it? Did you get the eggs back? Uh, not really. Oh, you couldn't do it after all, man. Have you been to see Lulu out and back by the ocean? Ever since the pirates stole her eggs, she's just been standing out there gazing at the sea and sighing. <sighs> okay, sorry, I had to example that. Exemplify that. My coo! We need those eggs safe so Lulu can get her voice back. We've grown accustomed to life in a peaceful sea. The only one among the Zora tribe who is still able to go to blow... Go to blows? What? Who wants to go with blows with... Oh, with wild pirates? Yikes. Ish. It is you, man. With the flood of Zoran heroes flowing within you. I'm still keeping Lulu's problem a secret from the other band members. They're all... They've all been, like, looking forward to the uh, Carnival of Time concert. And I can't tell them it's cancelled because Lulu can sing, right? Can I? No, that really wouldn't be a good idea. That'd really ruin our spirits, you know. we got to keep their spirits going, even though they were like, Okay, what's going on, guys? We know something's up. I don't know. Sometimes it's just a matter of, like, decision-making. Do you have to tell all the details to someone, or should you keep them in the loop? It's usually better to keep people updated, but I don't know, sometimes bad news is best saved for a little bit later, so anyway. Shut up! I'm busy right now! Uh, ah! Micah, you caught me! Yeah, I, uh, er, Lulu been looking kinda weird lately. I was worried. It's not like I was spying on her or anything. Uh, I'm not some kind kind of weirdo or some sort of slimy fish or anything. Um, yeah. Uh, I j j just remembered that I have somewhere to be. What time is? Uh, yeah, I have to be there. Like now. Uh, see ya. You little creep. I know you were totally trying to get some free sneak peeks of what she looks like without her dress. You creep. Seriously, I swear. The life of a band. I can just imagine. Oh, Lulu's diary. Shall we read it? Yeah, might as well. Sure. It has been two days since I've lost my voice. I don't want Mikey to know, so I've talked to Evan about it. He recommended that I take the eggs to the Marine Research Lab to have them checked. I think I will take them right away. Such a terrible thing has happened today that I don't even know where to begin writing. I heard a sound late at night, and when I opened my eyes, I saw strangers in my room. I tried to fight, but they were able to steal my precious eggs. It seems I lost consciousness after that. Today, I told everything to Mikey, the one person whom I didn't want to know about it. At first, I was too embarrassed and too sad to do anything about it. And with the sore with the words that Mikey said at the moment, I felt that all hope had been lost. Please, but please, Mikey, I'm begging you, don't do anything rash. Oh. Well, that explains why it looks like somebody took a sword and cut it in half, like there's Zoro the pirate or something. Or Hawkeye Mihawk, one of the two. Yikes. Oosh. Oh yeah, if you talk to this guy, I think he sells green potion, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks for stopping by! I'm doing business with the focus on Zoras. That makes you a potential customer. <laughs> Is this your room? I'm awfully sensitive to the sea breeze, so I'm sorry, but I'd like you to rent this room to me. Uh, but, my, this is a messy room. Did something happen in here? Well, I really can't do anything about it. Uh, I'll sell you a green potion for 40 rupees. No, thanks. I appreciate it, though. Ah, well, that's too bad. If you ever want any, look me up. Will do. I'll keep you in mind, sir. Alrighty, so we got quite a bit of information just talking to the band members and reading Lulu's diary. Hee <laughs> hee. You little creep, get back here. Come back here! Come back here, you little creep. I'm gonna pound some sense into your little perverted mind. Get back here, you can't run away! I'm on to you! Your conspiracy, I can tell it. 
conspiring to do something. What is he over here? Is that him? Ah, Maiku! Hey, what's the Lulu doing now? I'm so jealous of you to always be able to breathe the same air as Lulu. And you know, the side of Lulu that I don't? You know her private side, don't you? Whoa, wait a minute, sir. Cal back off. Calm down, sir. That's wonderful. I won't ask you to introduce me. A pictograph will do. Show me Lulu's... Pr what? <laughs> private side? What? Oh my gosh, really? If it's about Lulu, I want to know everything. I'll take anything. You know, I I'm the I'm the consummate fan. More like the creepy fan. Ugh. Shut up! I'm busy. Don't talk to me. You jerk. Get if I didn't go through you like you're some kind of pixelated freak, I'd dice and slice you and kick your butt all the way to Chinatown and back. Seriously. Alrighty, well, this guy here actually I should probably explain a little bit because I remember watching somebody else do this and reading about it. Apparently, if you take a picture of Lulu and give it to him, he'll give you some rupees, and you can keep doing that to keep getting rupees. So once again, another method of madness to uh, get, uh, obtain more rupees and add them to your collection. So real quick, let me go ahead and step out here, off to the left instead of to the right. Great Bay Coast. We'll check out that island. Wow. It's all tropical and whatnot. Hey, Lulu! Huh. Not much in talk mood today, are we? It's sad! Faith is trying to tell you something! You can see it in her expression! Huh. Well, I guess it must be a female thing, because I really can't see anything. It looks like she's just like... Yeah, and I got nothing, basically. Alright, real quick, let's go ahead and slice the South statue. Don't forget to do this, because you're going to want the South statue to be available for you to warp to later. And I think that's probably all, gonna, all I've got time to do for today, unfortunately. I'm sad to say I know more dialogue and no action. But you gotta get some story, gotta get some plot to bat build up a story, you know. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks guys for watching. Love y'all very much. Please don't let your tails fly up. And as question of the video, what anime series are any of you into? Lately I've been getting into One Piece, actually. Well, not lately, but I've kind of been into it. I just recently got back into watching it again, and... If you hear me gush about it throughout any Let's Play project or whatever, that's probably why, because I've been watching that, watching it like till the cows come home, basically. So, leave it in the comments what anime series you've been watching, so I can kind of get an idea what kind of interests are out, interests groups are out there, and I'll try to see if I can't incorporate those more, so you guys can be more entertained, more interested, because I'll probably take time to watch those or whatever, you know. So, uh, take care, guys, and again, don't let your tails fly up.